searching for a sail. And action! Day after day, that's what I must do. That's what we all must do, the whole family. Take turns standing watch. We're marooned, you see. Shipwrecked. And I haven't seen a sail in forever. Well, we've had a few pirate ships and the occasional native canoe. But the kind of sail I'm looking for is the sail of a full-masted schooner out of Boston. Or perhaps a clipper ship out of San Francisco or Shanghai. The kind of ship that could rescue us from this island and take us back to civilization. Back to the life we knew and the people we remember. And sadly, would take us away from the greatest adventure of all. Hi there, I'm Richard Thomas, and I'm here in New Zealand with my family, and I'm filming uh, The Adventures of the Swiss Family Robinson. It's an extraordinary experience recreating Boston here, and uh, stick around and learn how we're doing it. So, welcome. The time is 1825 or thereabouts. The place, somewhere in the uncharted waters of the South Pacific. The people, that's the place we should begin. At uh, Cloud9 Show Entertainment, we're particularly committed to uh, family entertainment, family programming, and within our catalog, Swiss Family was always a title that I personally um, really was quite intrigued with. Have you ever seen such a menagerie in all your life? The animals are the people. Both? The Disney adaptation differed quite considerably from uh, the famous novel, which is a literary classic taught in many schools. Richard is synonymous with family after the, the phenomenal success of the Waltons, and he also is committed to family programming. This is Montana James, and this is his first trip anywhere. <laughs> And from the way he's chomping on his hands, I think it's time for dinner. <laughs> it was very exciting to see a cast and crew come together. And, you know, from the first time at the Welcome Drinks party, the chemistry felt just right. And while well, they spent time getting to know each other, the production team, we were all fighting deadlines, trying to make a decision on the tree house. Get from one to the other. Uh, a lot of detail here, which is actually uh, the yeah. barrels and the, these stairs come up, yeah. like a drawbridge effect. The logistics were a nightmare. We, we first of all had to find where we were going to, um, where we were actually going to set it. In the trees, I suppose. Ah, a tree house. We could build it on the ground and haul it up. Yes, we could, Billy. That's an excellent idea. This is going to be a wonderful challenge. Surviving on a tropical island. Mm. Three meters, probably the base of it would be three meters off the deck, mm. I would think. And that... The question is, can it all be done in time? And it's quite wide, so yeah. I mean, it gives the directors a lot yes. of opportunity to move yes. and get from yes. one to the other. One, yeah, I mean, this one is the best out of yes. the ones we've got yes. sort of shortlisted. That's close to us. That's yeah, about, it's, it's uh, within, what, 15k, 25k? Yeah, about yeah, about excellent. excellent. Yeah. So we, we, we'd be doing the exteriors then here, then the interiors, we, we, we space, uh, to how, how would we do that? We've, Leslie and I have got to talk about this a bit, but I think um, we would duplicate the whole of this in Studio 12, which will give us our wet weather colour. From the drawing, so I'm just trying to convert it into uh, the finished product. I mean, how, how will this look? Christina, I think your mother should be the first person to set foot in our new home. Oh. Uh, Come on. Welcome home. <laughs> the production values, I think, really are fantastic. In Fiji, locations are obviously very, very photogenic. And, uh, the team did a terrific job, basically, to recreate the, the mainland back in Boston. Yes, that's me, back in Boston. David Robinson, shipping clerk. Sounds exciting. Proud father. Why 
throw it all away on some wild dream. But most of all, because Elizabeth, a dreamer. I believe dreams are important. He's dear to me because he's a man who was able to make a change in his life and take control of his life and, and push it in a, in a direction that he, he never thought would be possible. I, I think he feels that there's more out there and, and he wants his family to experience more and he wants somehow to get more in touch with his life and get his hands on the wheel. And he's a dreamer. So you put all that together and uh, you've got an adventure. I'm Margot Gunn and I'm playing Elizabeth Robinson. Bulla, I'm Charlotte Willems and I'm playing her eldest daughter, Joanna. And uh, we're here in paradise as you can see, and while the men are running around chasing coconuts, we're taking it easy. Elizabeth has a way of seeing things the rest of us don't. He's growing up, and she is a lovely girl. Elizabeth, a wife. I bumped my head, I think. A mother. You did, my darling. Sometimes a doctor. His fever has abated, but... Elizabeth! And to protect the people she loves, a warrior. We can provide for as many ships as you want. You could have a whole fleet. Well, I've actually become quite fond of Elizabeth over the period that I've been playing her. Uh, she goes on a journey, and I really, I really like the fact that she starts in, in Boston. Listen carefully, we have a sailing date. The schooner Fury, under the command of her master, Mr. Chisholm, will sail from Boston to Canton on the noon tide this coming Friday. Oh, wonderful! Father, I can't possibly be ready by Friday. Well, then, as they say, my dear, you'll miss the boat. <laughs> she's definitely a society lady. Knows exactly what she's doing and exactly what she wants. David! I want to sleep under a proper shelter. David! Mm. Did you hear that? Yes, my dear, every word. Proper shelter. She just gets stronger and stronger. All we ask is that you put up your weapons and behave like decent folk. Well, there's the tragedy, ma'am. Tragedy of Samuel Skaggs. Oh, he's not fit for human society. That's what the judge said when he sentenced me to hang. So, I don't mix with decent folk now. I just rub them and slit their throats. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> Calm down, Emily. She and her husband, David, find each other again on this journey. They, they come to rediscover all their love for each other, and it gets stronger, and it gets better through through the situations they have to deal with. Insolent young dog! Don't play games with me! Where's my daughter? If you harm one hair on her head... How dare you threaten me! Tell me where she is! Wait! I have nothing more to say. David! Enough! No, it is not enough. You have treated that boy abominably. Elizabeth, the boy's a liar and a deceiver. Because you have forced him to become one. Nonsense, he attacked me. Only because he thought you were attacking him. He stumbles uh, over uh, the deck, uh, and then oh. the family rush forward to help him up. Okay, so it was Richard on this side and Charlotte on the other. Parsons, get away from my son. Father. Well, well. What attracted me to the project was that, uh, the story. Action. I was familiar with the Swiss family Robinson as a child, and when I read the script and saw how it had been adapted, uh, I was very excited. Not only did it have all of the original uh, attributes of drama, of action, of good characterization, but we had added some, and we had also got the possibility of filming in, as we are now, marvelous sets on wonderful locations. My son Ernst, our oldest, a young man just coming of age. He's a writer. Swear. Defiant. No, sir. All right. Be sharks, me then. Fearless. I love you. And tender. But then nothing else matters. One day, 
he will tell our story. Well, um, I quite enjoyed playing Ernest. He was an interesting, interesting character from the point of view that where he began and um, the way he was on the island and, and things like that. He really sort of grew up throughout the series. And he had a, quite an interesting relationship with his father, I thought, uh, where he really looked up to his father. And, but then there was especially a time in the island where they ended up clashing because he wanted to leave the island and his father was sort of thinking it was a better idea to stay. Do you think I want my children to grow up here cut off from the rest of the world? Then let's do something. Let's take the raft. Absolutely not. The whole idea is preposterous. We're doing everything we can. We have the beacon. We have each other. And that's all we have. Except our prayers, of course. The storm sequence we did was, was really cool. I mean, when uh, myself and Richard had to go up on deck and we're getting um, buffeted by waves and, and rain. So if you come all the way around to here doing your hello hellos and then come together again, maybe Ernst, you could just go a little ahead around to look around there and meet up around here. We had a lot of fun there. I mean, a couple of those waves really took us off our feet, I remember. It's a good wave machine coming down. You know? That is great. My sister Joanna is so young, so full of life and laughter. But then, in a flash, you must have... anger. If you harm my father, I'll see you hanged. Lately, she's been feeling something new. She may not be such a little sister much longer. <laughs> Her personality, like, um, opened up. She loved doing things like hunting. One of the best things about it was uh, meeting lots of new people and learning so much from Richard and Margot. Um, they just taught me so much. Don't play games with me, young man. Have you seen my daughter? I saw her earlier, sir, at the treehouse. Well, if you should see her again, tell her to come back home immediately. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wait! He saved my life. You said he could join the family. Yes, so I did, but that does not give him or you I the right to... I can't stop seeing him. I won't! You won't! You won't? And what does that mean? That you'll continue to sneak out on the beach and spend time with him alone? And become a liar to your parents? I want your word, Joanna, that you will no longer spend time with him alone. Do I have your word? Yes, sir. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our youngest is sometimes the oldest, sometimes the toughest, sometimes mischievous. It smells delicious. Christina, always loving. But I think Christina's greatest gift is that she always tells the truth. Christina is, she's a kind of a tomboy. Good morning, ladies. One lot of eggs today. She doesn't really like sitting at home and being a normal, like, little Boston girl. She really just wants some adventure. Christina? Christina's gone! Christina! She loves animals, like her dog, Bruno, and... She has pigs and chickens and all sorts of animals. Christina, come back here. It's all right, Mother. <laughs> they understand. I'm going to call you Felicity. Do you like that? I think it's a pretty name. <laughs> Good boy. 
away and not wander away from us. When Papa's finished building a shelter for us, he's promised to make you a new home. Isn't that wonderful? Fundamentally, at the core, we have this family. And within that family, they are struggling to survive, to battle against the elements, the forces of Mother Nature, and they discover um, various strengths and weaknesses. I think it's, it's really quite, quite inspirational. Do you love Ben, truly? Yes, Mama. I do. And do you still feel he is the right man for you? Yes, Mama. Then go to him and tell him so. Papa! Fiji was great. It was a great place to visit. It was a great place to work. And it was a great place for all of us as a company to come together and, and make a family out of our, out of our movie family uh, because we were thrown together under circumstances, certainly a lot more luxurious than the, than the Swiss family Robinson, but similar in that we were with each other all the time on this island and living on this boat. You may be surprised to know this, that the most dangerous thing on this paradise of a desert island is not the, not the traffic, actually, mm -hmm. not the sharks in the water, not the highly venomous black and white banded sea snakes, nor is it the incredible piranha crabs that go by at the rate of 65 miles an hour, nor is it the other actors, nor is it even the director. The most dangerous thing on this island is the coconut. Oh, no. We moved in the end something like 30 tons of art equipment by ship. We moved generators, we moved lights, we moved mountains of food, we moved, well, everything that um, probably around 110 people would require for six weeks. My name's Chantelle, I play Emily. Apparently, I'm the moody one and spend a lot of time by myself. I choose to spend it here. See ya. Hello, Miss Chen. My mother was just remarking that we haven't seen much of you on this voyage so far. No, that has been my choice. I think Emily, um, she really would like to be a part of the Robinson family, although she is very snobby towards them and a shopping fire bath and a complete change of clothing. So do we all. I suppose this will do. Oh, no, you won't. That's one of my Sunday dresses. Joanna, Miss Chen is used to the best. <sighs> yes, but why does it have to be my best? I'm glad it's not my size. I remember doing a scene where um, Christina and Joanna were playing in the water together and Emily was watching them and sadly I think she would like to join in with them. But with a strict upbringing, she knew it was unacceptable. This is Marley, and he's the one who's used for all the cuddly and cute scenes. This one here is Cody, who's in all the action scenes. Find Christina. Yeah. Go, Bruno! Yes, Bruno. Good job. Go, go, go. Our family ethos not only applies to uh, what we make on the screen, but I mean, we, we take particular care about our family ethos behind the cameras too. We, we take a great deal of pride in looking after the kids that work with us. Shark in the water. Billy! Billy, there's a shark! 23, take one. Good boy. Oh, it's the line! Ah! I want to say about Billy. Well, Billy is sort of like streetwise and tough, you know. What's your name? Billy, sir. The camera boy. Anything you want, Billy will get it for you. Well, Billy, this is for you. Thank you. Billy, get rid of it. What? That? Yes. Hey, Kagli, come on, boy. There. Now there's something you've got to do for me. We're the best of friends. Yeah. 
up to the triumph, you know, with, with, with the welcome home yeah, in the, sure, the treehouse. Sure, yeah, sure. Them having the meal, the first bit about wood smoke, uh, back to uh, with yeah. the bird. I reckon he fancies some stew. And that's punctuated sure. in the in the yeah. in the dub and the music. I think sure. that covered very well. Come on, Let's soon make short work of them. Come on, Let's soon make short work of them. So with that reinstated, that will be fine, except for about 20 seconds on the feature. The episodic versions are okay. Yeah. We're the bad guys. Villains are the best thing in the world to play because you don't have to be politically correct. <laughs> you can hate everybody. Where you been? <laughs> There are only two types in this world. There's them, and there's us. That's right. They got what the likes of you and me ain't never gonna have. So when we can, we takes it. He's the bad guy. I'm just a little led astray. Any moment he could creep up and kill us in our sleep. Why would he do that? He's stuck with Parsons um, on this island, and the only way he's gonna survive is with this guy he feels at the time. It takes him. Um, a long time to actually grow up and realize that he can um, change and he ends up sort of helping um, the family. Spare. Yes, Captain. They haven't done anything, sir. It's a young lass you mean, ain't it? You're stuck on him. We were friends on the ship. She's a good girl, sir. I wonder if you've got the metal to be a pirate, lad. You sound too soft-hearted to me. I've caused you nothing but hurt. I'm sorry, Joanna. Go and be with the rest of the family where you belong. Forget me. Ben! I think the show is in large part about the dream we all have about self-reliance, the idea that, uh, that if we really were set loose uh, on our own, we would be able to survive. We really firmly believe that we have everything and therefore the family. We were seeking new horizons, a God-fearing family, searching for a better life. The words are what we live by, Father. You've always taught us that. Bible is words, Papa. God's words. There's something for Granny, for Mum and Dad, for teenagers, um, for young kids. Ours is the story of an ordinary family right, facing boy. extraordinary hardship. Through danger David Robinson. and evil. God day your reckoning is upon you. Magic and mystery. This island is a sacred place. As I said, we didn't come here by choice. Death is the punishment for sacrilege. For many of us. There's this desire to know how well you'd do if you were on your own. I would probably last about 35 minutes, but fortunately I get to play somebody who's a great success at it. <laughs> I feel very proud of the series. There's action adventure. It's got a wonderful cast. Fundamentally, the series is about survival. It's, it's uh, overall, I think, a celebration of, of the family values. Set sail for a new world of adventure with the family that became a legend. To all the Robinsons. To all the Robinsons. <laughs> the adventures of Swiss Family Robinson.